I bet you haven't seen anything like this before. Roborock made a robot vacuum with a mechanical arm that can pick up objects for you and put them away. And no, this is not a prototype. This is something that you can actually buy soon. This is crazy, right? What's up everybody, this is Danny, and today I partnered with Roborock so I can show you the new tech that you're gonna be seeing this year. There are a ton of products here, so I could be here all day, but what I wanna do is I wanna help you differentiate between the models, because it can get a little tricky, but I think this is the strongest lineup that Roborock has ever had. So let's just get started because I got a ton to show you. So the first ones I wanna show you are the flagship models, the Soros C70, the Soros 10, and the Soros 10R. So I found the naming interesting because Soros is an astrological term that refers to the prediction of cycles between lunar and solar eclipses. So Roborock is marking this as a new cycle for all of their flagship models. So I thought that was really interesting. That's kinda cool. It makes sense because all of the Soros lineup looks fresh. They are the thinnest robot vacuums Roborock has ever made. The designs are clean and also have a new look for the bases as well. So you can see right away that this is a new lineup. The Soros C70 is the one that you saw earlier with the five axis mechanical arm. And this is the first mass produced consumer robot vacuum with this feature. There will be more details as it gets closer to launch, but this solves the problem of socks and toys being on the floor, preventing a thorough clean. The grip should be able to pick up a variety of items that are on the floor and you can tell it to put it in a designated spot. I'm so looking forward to this because my kids leave junk all over the floor and I know parents around the world are tired of picking up multiple times a day so I can't wait for the Soros Z70 to go pick those things up and put them into a designated basket so I can't wait to try this later on this year. The Soros C70 is going to sit at the very top. This is the one that you're gonna to wanna to get if you want the cutting edge features. The suction power is ridiculous at 22,000 pascals. It has the most advanced 3D time of flight sensor navigation for the most accurate object detection with AI. The flexi arm side brush and spinning mops are here as well. And it can detach the mops at the base station so you don't have to wait for mops to dry or get high pile carpeting wet during cleans. It has an anti-tangle system, which I think is clever. So you'll never get hair tangled on the sides, which is normally a huge issue. The Soros lineup and the Z70 also has the the new adapter lift chassis. It has an independent liftable mop, liftable main brush, and side brush, or they can all just lift together to adapt to mopping, vacuuming, and hybrid modes. It also comes with a new 10-in-1 multifunctional dock that can do all of these things listed here, so you can pause the video if you need to see all the features. So the thing that I'm really excited about is the 2.5 hour fast charging that's on the Soros lineup, so I think that is a big upgrade when it comes to everyday use. This product is coming to the market very soon, and don't quote me on this, but I think the Z70 will be out around the April-ish time frame, so I'm really looking forward to it. That Omni Grip mechanical arm is really cool, but if you don't need that arm, then I would look into the Soros 10R. So to make things simple, the Soros 10R is basically the Soros Z70 without the mechanical arm, with a few differences. This means you're going to get that same flush updated design. You still get that dual anti-tangle brush that should make hair tangling a thing of the past. This model also uses the advanced time of flight sensor based Starsight Autonomous System 2.0. This cluster adds a vertical laser so this can scan and see smaller objects even lower to the ground. So this should prevent cords from being sucked up into the vacuum. And it also means it could get closer to furniture as well and it also recognizes up to 108 objects so cleaning should be more precise with this new system. The Soros 10R has around 20,000 pascals of suction power so that should be the only minor difference between this and the Soros C70 on cleaning. This one has the same spinning mop system, the same 10-in-1 multifunctional dock, and the auto-detaching mop system. So this one should be very popular for people that want all the features of the Z70 without the mechanical arm. Now the Soros 10 is interesting because this is the one that you're gonna wanna get if you're focused on the best clean. It has a lot of the same features that I mentioned on the other two vacuums, like the new slim design, the base, the dual divide anti-tangle brush, and more, but there are some differences here. First, this has a new retracting navigation system. This is a LiDAR sensor, but it can retract into the body to fit into tight spaces like this, so that is neat. It doesn't use the same time of flight based sensors that the Soros 10R and the Z70 use, but it should be very similar to what people are already used to with Roborock products, but it does get an upgrade to Reactive AI 3.0. The second one is that the Soros 10 uses a large large vibrating mop, but it also is detachable at the base, which I think is awesome. I know a lot of you think that that might be a downgrade from the spinning mops, but it does have higher downward pressure on hard flooring, so that might be better for some homes. When it comes to vacuum power though, it does have the highest suction power at 22,000 pascals as well, so the 10 is a great option. Think of this as an upgraded S8 Max V Ultra. Oh, and one more thing, the Soros 10 has the flat vibrating mop, so it has that little extra edge mopping system that extends out to clean the edges, so you don't miss out on that feature. 
Those are some of the major differences, so I hope that helps. But what I do like is that the Saros lineup shares a ton of the same features across the board. To make things clear, all of the Saros lineup share the new design. They all have the dual divide anti-tangle system, the adaptive lift chassis, 6400 milliamp hour battery with 2.5 hour fast charging, incredible suction power, flexi arm side brush, auto detaching mops at the base station, intelligent voice assistant, and what's great is that all of these models will support Matter 1.4 through an OTA software update later this year. So that is amazing for smart home. There are two different bases available for the Saros lineup. One is the regular dock that you're used to, and the other one is the refill and drainage system if you want to hook it up to plumbing so you don't have to replace the water or drain the dirty water. The Saros series comes in two different colors, one black and one lighter color. So on the Saros 10, it's like a matte silver color. And over here on the Saros C70, you get a more of a gray or gunmetal gray color. So let me know which one that you like better. If you're not quite ready for the Saro series, then of course, and you still have the Q Revo series. So I really like the way that the Q Revo curve looks. I think the base looks really sleek. And of course you have the Edge series over here too. So these are still some really solid options. Until I saw this in person, I wasn't really into it, but I think the Roborock F25 series might be my favorite. You gotta check this out. All right, so there's already some cereal on the floor, some hair. I'm gonna throw some juice all over the ground right here. Look at this, okay. So this is a wet dry mop. And as soon as I hit the power button, it's already rolling forward for me and I don't have to do anything. And look at this, all in one swipe, I can get all of this. This is crazy. Look at how good this looks already. It's just picking up everything straight up. And look at how flexible this thing is. I can move it all around like this. Look at that, I can grab this. And then I can go underneath here if I want to because it goes flat. So the F25 series is extremely legit and it does have about four to five different models. So I'm gonna leave a link down below for you so you can see all the models that there are and which one is best for you. But man, I want this in the house like now. So I hope you liked what you saw today. I think this is the strongest Roborock lineup that I've ever seen. I think if you're an S8 Max V Ultra user, then the Saros 10 would be something to look into. But if you have more complex furniture in your house and have varying thicknesses of rugs and carpet, then I would look into the Saros 10R. And if you just want the best of the best with that cool mechanical arm, then go for the Saros Z70. Make sure you subscribe because I will get these in when they are released so I can go more into depth then with real world testing. The Saros 10 and 10R are coming soon. I think they may even be available Available to buy right now so make sure you check the links in the description for pricing and availability and the z70 will be coming later thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it thumbs up if you did and i'll see you guys at the next ces peace